So everyone likes organic strawberry. Everyone wants to eat healthy and organic, but when you're producing organic strawberry, you have to deal with different kind of pests and diseases. This is one of the example. Pestaliopsis is a new disease in Florida. There's no chemical cure for this disease. And whenever there's a warmer weather condition, it gets so bad, especially end of the season. And when there's rainfall, irrigation, the disease spreads so bad across the field. And it has these, all these leaf spots. And other than that, it has the spots in the fruit as well. And no one wants to eat this uh, spotted fruit. And you reduce the marketability of this fruit, you can't sell them. Other than this special lipsis, there are different kind of diseases, macrofemina, fasolina, charcoal rot, phytophthora, different swollen diseases you have to deal with in the strawberry production system, which consequently reduces the yield and the quality of the crop. That's why you see all these dead crops, empty crops, reduced crop canopy, just overall low production. That's why the prices of these berries are really high because you're producing less with the given input. In organic production system, not only diseases, you have to deal with different kind of insect problem, nematode problem, mites problem, and many kind of pest problem. So another problem here is uh, chili thrips. Uh, this is the insect problem that can cause the bronzing on your fruit and you cannot sell this bronze fruit to the market. And these chili thrips are really hard to control and they're only limited uh, insecticide that can, has shown pretty good control of this chili thrips. And when you have the field infected with chili thrips, you can see the whole field that uh, that has like a you know, infected symptoms and this spreads pretty quickly. Other than chili thrips, there are mites, especially two spotted spider mites. Uh, these uh, mites feed on the leaf. They really don't affect the berries, but a lot of times they feed on the underside of the leaf. This is the above top view where you see this yellowing area, but most of them these might hide under the side of the leaf. That's why hard to reach out with any kind of uh, things you put on the on the field but basically it reduces the photosynthesis area and the leaf that eventually uh, affect the crop yield and this is just a field that has high infestation of the mite and chili thrips at the same time in the organic production setting uh, other than these uh, insect problem uh, this is the phytoplasma which is a cell wallless uh, bacteria and these uh, are transmitted through the plant hopper and a lot of times this uh, causes the stunted plant growth small leaf crop small stunted crop canopy you see the small lips inside the canopy this kind of purplish yellowish color and the fruits gets uh, twisted and uh, abnormal shape that you cannot sell these fruits as well and there's no special chemistry to control this uh, uh, phytoplasma but you can control this pest with controlling uh, plant hopper um, excluding those infected crop out of the field and sanitation and most kind of these kind of uh, integrated uh, strategies and uh, uh, like I said you know it definitely affects the fruit quality of, with this phytoplasma these are some of the pests that I have seen in organic strawberry production in Florida However, these can be problematic in conventional strawberry fields as well. Conventional growers have this opportunity to use different chemistry to suppress this pest to a certain level. However, organic growers has to rely on biological tools to control this pest and biological tools may not be as effective as chemical tools for the control of this pest, which results into organic growers suffering from disease problem more than conventional growers.